This video is part two of the day eight note. So in this video, we are going to focus on cones. So cones have the same exact equations as pyramids. The only difference is that the base of a cone is always a circle. So remember, your answers will have pi in them. So lateral area is going to be one half perimeter times the slant height. Total surface area is your lateral area plus the area of one base, and your volume is one-third the base area times the height. Remember that your slant height goes along the edge of the cone if you were sliding on the side, and the height goes from the vertex to the center of the base. So in number five, find the area of the base, the lateral area, the total surface area, and the volume. So the area of the base, because it's a circle, we would have pi r squared. So pi 7 squared gets us 49 pi inches squared. Your lateral area is one half perimeter times slant height. Remember, in a circle, your perimeter is the same as the circumference. We have one half two pi seven times the slant height. Well, we don't know the slant height yet, so we're going to do Pythagorean theorem. X squared equals twenty four squared plus seven squared. X squared equals six twenty five. So X is twenty five. So when we multiply that. We have 1 half times 2 times 7 times 25. Remember, do not put your pi in the calculator. And we get 175 pi inches squared. For your total surface area, it is 1 half perimeter times slant height plus the area of the base, which we've already done those two. So it's 175 pi plus 49 pi. We can add those together. We get 224 pi inches squared. Your volume then is one third base area times height. So it'd be one third pi seven squared times the height of 24. Remember, put everything in the calculator except for your pi. And we get 392 pi inches cubed. In number six, we want to find the lateral area, the total surface area, and the volume. So your lateral area is equal to one half perimeter times the slant height. So we have one half to get our perimeter at circumference. So we have to take 30, which is the diameter, and bisect it in half. So we have 15 and 15. So we would have one half times two pi 15 times the slant height of 25. So we get 375 pi centimeters squared. Your total surface area is one half perimeter times slant height plus the area of the base. We already have that from our first part for the one half perimeter times the slant height. So we have 375 pi plus the area of the base, which would be pi 15 squared. So we have 375 pi plus 225 pi. And when we add those together, we get 600 pi centimeters squared. To get our volume, our volume is equal to one third the base area times the height. So we have one third pi 15 squared times the height. Now we don't know the height yet, so when we draw that in, we have to do Pythagorean theorem then. So we have 25 squared equals 15 squared plus x squared. 625 is equal to 400 plus x squared. 225 is equal to x squared. So x is 15. So when we multiply that, we get 1,125 pi centimeters cubed for our volume. In number seven, Donnie was enjoying his snow cone. He only had what was exactly in the cone left to eat. If the cone has a diameter of three inches and a height of four inches, how much of his delicious treat does he have left to eat? So in our cone, we know that the diameter is three inches, so our radius is 1.5, and we know the height of four. So our volume is one-third base area times height. So we have one-third pi 1 1.5 squared, times the height of four. So put everything in the calculator except the pi. 
and we get 3 pi inches cubed. In number 8, the lateral area of the cone is 77 pi millimeter squared. If the diameter is 14, what is the height? So if the diameter is 14, the radius is 7. So our lateral area is equal to 1 half perimeter times slant height. So 77 pi equals 1 half times 2 pi times 7 times the slant height. So we get 77 pi equals 7 pi times the slant height. When we divide both sides by 7 pi, we get 11 is equal to the slant height. So the slant height is 11 millimeters.